Hello everybody! Welcome to another Valheim video. Today we're going to be learning how you can make summonable Kvaster and a few other Bog Witch updates for your Valheim server. Everything you're about to see is completely vanilla friendly. Once it's on the server, anybody from an Xbox or a Mac or a PC could join and experience these feature changes. One of the initial items available for purchase at the Bog Witch is the scythe handle for 200 coins. Normally this is used to make the scythe, which provides an easier way to harvest crops. But now we can take one of these scythe handles and then just toss it on the floor. And as long as we don't pick it up, it'll hum and then summon a Kvaster in exchange for this scythe handle. Now, let's say that we toss it down, but it was a mistake. Well, don't worry, because all you have to do is pick it back up and you'll interrupt the process. This patch also has another feature. You see, a lot of the material that the Bog Witch sells is linked to your server's keys. But some of the keys are also linked to night world spawns. So for these items, we've made an alternative way to access them. For example, if we take one fueling totem and toss it at the Bog Witch, then we get the plain spices. If we take a black core and toss it at the Bog Witch, then we get the Mislin spices. And if we take a molten core, we get the Ashland spices. This way you can get access to these items without having those keys which promote dangerous night spawns on your entire server set. And if you want to set this up, don't worry, you don't really need to know much about programming or anything like that. All you need to do is install expand world prefabs on your Bepinex Valheim server or your local installation. Scroll into the description of this video and check out the Valheim world editing discord or look at the link in any of Yair's mods. That'll bring you up to here where you can find the config share. From there, you can search for what I just updated, the Summon Kvaster. This will give you everything you need in order to install it on your server. You'll need to copy this area here, known as the prefabs, but don't copy this data part. That needs to go somewhere else. Go into your Valheim server or your local installation and then find your BepinX folder. Go into config and look for the expand world folder and then you're gonna make a new file here. In this case, expand prefabs, kvasters works. Then just paste it in and you'll almost be ready. But before you do this, you need to make sure that you have the data added as well. To do that, we'll go into our expand data and then we'll verify that it has these two data entries, stack five and stack one. As long as these are somewhere in your data, then it'll work. In my case, I don't need to add them because I already have them from other stuff. And that's it. This is all that you need to do in order to make your Kvasters summonable on a vanilla Valheim server. Times have really changed and Expand World Prefab has opened the world up to us. If you want to rent your own dedicated Valheim server, then consider using my link jpvalheim at zap hosting. This is a great way to host your own Valheim experience that you can now customize beyond what you thought previously possible. Alternatively, you could like this video or any other video about Valheim and then YouTube is going to keep dishing out more content. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye